hello friends welcome back today we would be learning a very important topic that is how to read pdf files using selenium now you must have come across situations where you need to read and verify pdf files so not to worry it is possible and today we will learn how to do it so without wasting any time let's start learning it to read the pdf files using selenium and java we need a specific jar file so what you'll have to do is you'll have to download that jar file and configure it within your project so this is the website which i'll be showing you right now from where you'll be getting the specific pdf jar file which we need to read the pdf files so we'll go to this website i'll show you so this is the website and if you see somewhere in the center you have this thing pdf box app 2.0.11.jar now this version may keep on changing now the version is 2.0.11 so what you have to do is you have to just click over here and your download will begin i have already downloaded this file i'll just show you the file you can place it anywhere in your system i have placed it in this location if selenium and this is the jar file pdf box app 2.0.11 this is the current version this may change when you would be trying to download so at this point we have this jar file available with us the next step would be to configure this jar file within our project so i'll show you on the eclipse ide as well as on the intellij ide so this is the eclipse ide and i have created a small project pdf example over here now if i wish to configure this jar file with this project the steps are exactly same as we had done for configuration of the selenium jar files what you have to do is on this source folder do a right click build path configure build path here go to libraries the next step is to click on add external jars navigate to the location where you have stored your downloaded pdf jar file you should know where you have stored the jar file i have stored at this location i go over there and here i have this jar file i select that and click on open so if you see it is now available over here so these are the same steps which we have been doing for configuration of selenium jar files within our java project next we have to do an apply finally apply and close now if you see within this project within the reference libraries you could see this jar file has been configured now if you have to perform the same steps on intellij I'll go to the IntelliJ editor. Here also I have created a sample project. Now people who haven't used IntelliJ and are confused like how to create a Java project and configure Selenium files with that, I would request you to please view one of my previous tutorials in which I have explained in detail how to create Java projects on IntelliJ and configure it with Selenium. So coming back to the PDF reading part. So now on this project, if I wish to configure my PDF jar, what I have to do is I have to go to this file menu, go to this option project structure. Here within project structure, go to modules, which is highlighted and here go to the dependencies tab. And here what you have to do is you have to click on this plus sign over here. Select the option jars or directories. Here navigate to the path where you have the jar file located. In my case it is within F Selenium. And you would see within the Selenium folder if you just scroll down. You can find it over here PDF box app. So I select it over here. Click OK. Now it is adding this file to our project which it has done now. And if you see over here, this PDF box has been included within the project. The other files like I have also included the Selenium files because of which you are seeing a number of other files over here. And this PDF box is appearing at the bottom. So once this is done, click on apply. 
and then OK. So you have configured your project with the PDF jar file. So this was one of the ways. The other way, which is my preferred way, is to use the POM dependency. So if people are using Maven project, then in the POM file, you have to include this dependency, which I am showing right now. It is org.apache dot pdf box the version like this is the latest version which is available so this is the dependency which needs to be included and if you are using IntelliJ you have to just click on import changes irrespective whether you you are using IntelliJ or Eclipse this is the dependency for the Maven based project this should be included in the POM file and when I click this import changes the dependency would be automatically integrated with the project the only thing is your, your internet connection should be on for the first time download of this pdf box jar file from the maven repository once this is done your project is ready you could use either ways like the first way in which we manually con downloaded and configured the pdf file within the project or you could use this dependency within the POM file. I suggest you to use this dependency because, because it becomes very easy. If tomorrow a new version comes like for example 2.0.12 comes in, you do not have to re-download it. You have to just change the version over here and you would be good to go. So now since our project is configured and ready, we come to the part of actually writing the code and fetching the values from the PDF file. So let's start doing that. So here is a PDF file, this is a sample PDF file which I have on my system. So we'll try to read the contents of this PDF file. I'll just close this file. I should know where this file is located because we would need to reference its location in the code. This PDF file is stored here, F Selenium test one. So this is the PDF file which we will try to read through the code. So the code goes like this. The first step would be to create the file input stream object. Anytime we wish to read any file, we have to create the file input stream object. So this applies over here as well. And I create the file input stream object like this. It is very simple file input stream, any object name of your choice, new file input stream and the location where your PDF file is residing. So my PDF file is residing at this location which I have mentioned it over here. You could see the red marks because I will have to do some kind of imports. So let's see what imports do we require to fix these red marks. On the IntelliJ editor you have to press alt enter. And once you do that, automatically import java.io file input stream has come over here. Still there is a red mark on the right hand side. So once again I hover my mouse over there on and if you see on the left side there is kind of this red image. I just click this arrow over there and here you are getting these options. Either surround it with try catch or add the exception. For now I am just adding this exception. So when it is throwing this file not found exception there are no red marks. Now it is good to go. So the first step was to create the file input stream object which we have done. Now we will create the object of the PDF document. The syntax goes like this pd document any object name of your choice is equal to pd document dot load and here within parenthesis you have to pass the file input stream object which we created in the first step now again we see some red marks which, which means there are errors so again some imports are pending so here what i'll do take my mouse over there and hit alt enter once I do that, on the top, if you see import apache.pdf box pd model dot pd document, this has come. Now, this would not have come if we would have not configured the jar files correctly. Since we have done the correct configuration of the jar files, this has correctly come over here. And still I see a red mark. Once again, I will hover my mouse over there. On the left hand side, there is this icon. I click on the arrow and again it is asking me either to surround it by try catch or exception. So again I will add an exception. I click over there. 
and now if you see now it is throwing an IO exception and the first exception file not found exception has vanished because IO exception is the parent of file not found exception so IO exception takes care of that so now these two steps are ready the file input stream object in step one and using the file input stream object we are loading the PDF document now that comes the most important and the next step here we are creating the object of the PDX, PDF text stripper class because this object which we have created obj pdf strp would be actually used to fetch the contents of the pdf so this class is very important your object name could be of your choice any name i have given the name as obj pdf strp and once again these red marks so i'll just suggest to go over over there you'll get this option and press alt enter once you do that the class would be imported and you will no longer see the errors so now once this is done now we are at the last step where we would be fetching the contents of the pdf document using the object which we created right now so the code goes like this object dot get text now get text is the method which would fetch the contents of the pdf and here in the parenthesis it is asking for an argument which is like the object of the pdf document which we need to read and we had created that object in step 2 which is obj doc so i just copying this object and pasting it over here so now we are in a position to read the content of the pdf file so what i'll do is the entire content i will store it in a string string pdf content is equal to the object dot get text and the obj doc which we have passed so this is a string variable which we have created to store the contents of the pdf file any name of your choice you could mention so now what we'll do is like we'll print the contents of this pdf file on the console for that we'll use system.out.println And we'll pass this variable over here and so if everything is fine it will go ahead and read the contents of the PDF document and print it on the console so let's execute this you could go to the this run, run tab over there and click on run read PDF or just click on this green button over here on the right hand side so that the execution will begin so the execution has started if you see and now we should see the output in few seconds and now if you see the entire content of the pdf file has been printed in the console so we'll just open the pdf file and just we'll do a quick comparison so this was the pdf file test one so now if you would read this pdf file 10808 pdf oracle whatever and if you see the comparison with the console every line has been printed we'll move to the last part of this pdf file to see whether it has correctly copied all the contents so here it is talking about the question number 25 like which is which of the following is a checked exception so if you would see the bottom part of the console here we could see it which of the following is a checked ex ex exception so which means we have correctly read the contents of the pdf file it is pretty simple we just need to correctly configure the jar file and just few lines of code and we are able to successfully read the contents of the pdf file so it is actually not dependent on selenium jar files it is a separate jar file which we need to achieve this i hope you found this tutorial helpful if you like my videos i would request you to please subscribe to my channel so that you would be updated with the latest videos which i would be uploading thanks friends I'll see you in my next tutorial. Goodbye.